The first thing that I notice in every world changer that I've read about my whole life is they've been people of courage. So on the count of three, I want you to yell so loud that the people in that boat out there can hear. On the count of three, you're going to say, I am a fear breaker. Okay, can you do that on the count of three as loud as you can? On the count of three, I am a fear breaker. One, two, three. I am a fear breaker. Woo! actually was on this beach right here. It was in 1997 and I felt the Lord really speaking to me that it's time for you to start your own environmental education where you can bring environmental science together with character building, spiritual applications to create world-changing adventures who love and steward the earth. How many of you guys like sharks? Yeah, it's a sea star. Well, perculum from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, endemic or native. <laughs> we want the kids to feel like they're marine biologists in training. So they're up by seven o'clock. They have invertebrate labs where we go to our touch tanks, bird lab where they learn about the birds and they go kayaking, they go snorkeling and learn all about the different coastal fish. And they'll keep a data chart to show what animals they saw in the field because we want them to learn to observe things. I'm going to want you to touch it backwards, pet it backwards with your two fingers. Look at that. See, see, there it is. Yeah, the beak. It talks about in the beginning of Psalm 104, the wonders of his creation. And then when it gets to the ocean, it talks about that it's teeming with life, both large, the largest animal that's ever lived, and small. You know, you've got the plankton, and you've got the, all the different whales, the blue whales. It's just how wonderful are his works. When you go to, into a classroom with kids and you start talking about all the environmental problems there are, whether it's climate change or whether it's the extinction rate of, of animals or the plastics in the ocean, and that's what you park in, they're going to walk out of there feeling hopeless. And we want to be hope brokers. We want to say, come on. You can do this. So we talk about the problems and then we break them up in small groups and we say, you guys are the solution makers. Come on, you can do it. A lot of the seedbed was here at Azusa Pacific. The path that I began walking down during that course was really life-changing for me. It brought courage back into my life. And I knew that that was something that, that I was to impart to students as, you know, to teach them how to be fear breakers. But God had to do it in me first. Are you ready? One of the things I try to do is look for, not if the child went out 20 feet because they were so afraid of snorkeling or they went you know, 200 yards, but to celebrate that they went, that they did it. And that's a life-changing experience for them. 